All right, everyone, it's hilarity in California. Gavin Newsom is facing the very real possibility that he's going to be recalled as the governor of California. Now, of course, it's sort of like when they were uh, trying to get Whitmer out, and I don't know where that went. I'm, I'm assuming by now it's probably dead in the water. It was actually started by leftists that were pissed off at her usage of police. But at the same time, people on the right were angry at her for the lockdowns. Gavin Newsom is not facing recall for being a lockdown happy Antifa sympathizer. He's being recalled potentially uh, uh, for for not doing enough about COVID, not stopping the invisible threat. Now, I'm going to offer a tacit defense of Gavin Newsom that will be extremely unpopular here. There is nothing that Gavin Newsom legally can do about the situation to stop the spread of coronavirus. We now have multiple new variants of the disease, more transmissible than the goddamn common cold. The game is up. It's going to become endemic. Evolution will take hold and reduce its lethality as long as we have, you know, a, a human race there to transmit it. It will mutate. You're going to end up with it being a highly infectious, endemic, yearly sort of virus. It will not go away. And vaccination is not going to put the genie back in the bottle. Even if it were worldwide, mandatory, martial law-based uh, action, you would essentially need... Here, here's the only way to get rid of coronavirus. Every animal host, which we know includes all of the great apes, chimps and gorillas, probably monkeys, it can at least passively include dogs. It includes uh, 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 certain rodents. It includes mink, the weasel family. A lot of potential hosts that can be sickened by it. I think that there are others. I think cats can potentially get COVID as well, if I remember correctly. They would all have to be completely destroyed, both in the wild and domestically. So we would essentially make dogs and cats extinct. There would be no mink. There would be no apes anymore. We, we've decided to finally get rid of the last few gorillas that exist in the world. Then you would have to have a mandatory martial law enforced vaccination. Subsequently, two or three months of total lockdown. And at the first sign of someone having the sniffles, you'd need to nuke it from orbit. You'd need to burn the whole city to the ground just to take care of the infection. That, at this point, is probably the only way. Oh, there's one other possibility would be to genetically engineer the whole human race at the same time. Good luck with that. Uh, so, in other words, short of dystopia and destroying civilization as we know it, or a sci-fi movie, you're fucked. Gavin Newsom, though, should be recalled. I mean, they'll use this as the reason to get rid of him, and apparently Democrats deemed it a coup, and then immediately they got smacked in the cock for even using that word in the current political context. Like, how, how big of an optics fail can you have? How, how much of a dunderhead can you be to use such a term to describe Gavin uh, Newsom potentially being recalled for, for overseeing a shitty COVID response? I still find it funny that these lockdown happy masked up states uh, are having more problems than a place like South Dakota in some cases. The three biggest death per, rate per capita areas, New York, Massachusetts, and New Jersey, all of which have draconian lockdown measures in place. All three of them. They're, they're all way ahead of South Dakota and North Dakota, despite the fact that the latter has, the former has no lockdown or restrictions of any kind, and the latter only recently adopted a mask mandate, and then only a situational one. There's nothing that Gavin Newsom can do. You almost have to feel sorry for the turd. <laughs> Not really, but uh, in a hyperbolic sense, we'll state it anyway. He's an idiot. He shouldn't be governor. He shouldn't even be the, the dog catcher. Uh, not because of the COVID response. It's funny, it, everything is, by the way, everything is a coup now. So coup is the new Nazis. It, Ten years ago, if you didn't like someone, you just called them a Nazi to try to shut them up. You said that they were a bigot or hateful. Now you say they're trying to stage a coup or an insurrection. So see, we've got a new buzz term to be overused to the point where it needs to be retired from the human language uh, <laughs> at this point. His lemming-like backers calling it a coup that he's facing repercussions for being a shit governor. Also, I, I believe there's an economic aspect to it as well, which makes more sense than blaming him for a virus that was caused by the nation of China lying to everyone for several months. Nobody except the Beijing government is responsible for COVID. They're the only ones that are responsible for every single death that's currently happening. I like it when people say, well, if you don't want to stay at home forever and, and wear a hazmat suit, you're to blame if you die. No, China's to blame. Nobody should have to live like that. The current situation should not have happened. None of this should be occurring right now. It's now being used as an excuse, by the way, of the dregs of society, most of which have Chinese ties to try to fuck you over and destroy civilization and turn everything into China. 
They like China. Most U.S. politicians would rather we be like China as long as we can not use the term communism for what we're doing. We're becoming more and more like them every day. Yeah, co communism wins on the authoritarian ideological basis. It's just not the kind that the breadliners want because they want to be party insiders with a nice clerical job. They want to be a propaganda minister or something like that. You're going to be in a gulag mining salt. You're going to be a wagey. You're going to be a wagey in a cagey because you're not allowed to talk on the internet anymore. All these independent creators who support far leftism are fucking themselves. They don't even realize that they're supporting fascism, essentially. And yeah, Gavin Newsom might be recalled. And it might, it might actually have legs, too. That's the funny part. Gavin Newsom gets kicked out. Not that they're going to replace him with someone who's not just as bad. It's California we're talking about. You'd need, like, near 100% turnout among the sane people of California to override just the small turnout of nutters in San Francisco anyway. California is basically a lost cause. Yeah, everything is a coup. Yeah, get rid of Newsom. <laughs> I do believe that that would be a funny thing. They impeached Trump, you know, for a bullshit lie about how he supposedly fomented a coup. Now, now they can stage, uh, according to the Democrats, an actual coup in the state of California, of all places. Let's just have more social alienation. It's not like, you know, it's not like the government is accomplishing anything anyway. Fuck it all. Who cares? That's about all. Peace out.